continue. Let's see what happens. Pump primes pretty quickly. Stand back in case it blows up. Back. Right. Uh, yeah. So as always, no good deed goes unpunished. When this uh, where to go? When this high pressure line wasn't seating properly on this elbow, I recognized recognized that this box was loose. So I attempted to tighten it. There's two bolts in the back. Tighten it to the frame. The first one snug down just fine, and the second one had uh, corroded to the point where it wasn't moving, and uh, it broke. So I'm gonna have to extract. The broken stud. Let me get it focused. I'm going to extract this broken extract the broken stud. Bolt this control box back on. Unfortunately, it doesn't go all the way through. It's just a little nub on the back side. So I'm going to try to see if I can get it without pulling all these wires out because I would really hope not to. So if I can drill a hole, I'll probably put a little heat on it and uh, use a, a screw extractor, which I have around here. Somewhere I just had it in my grubby hands. Where'd it go? <sighs> Here it is. I found it. I use this to try to extract it. Drill a pile of holes, stick that in there, try to screw it out. I'll hit it with some heat. Hopefully without goofing up. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, I did have to do a little removing of some wiring. I uh, removed the power cord. This power cord's awesome. I will reuse that. Um, that way I can pivot this thing out. Because the power cord wires are so much easier to get to. They're right here in the front on the switch. There's a ground bar back here, a neutral bar, and a ground post. Um, then trying to remove the, the wires to the motor are way tucked back in there. I would have to pull this pressure control switch out to make that happen. And I'm not really uh, looking to make that happen. Yeah, this is an old crappy... <laughs> Black and Decker. But my good tools are in my other shop. I don't feel like going to get them. So I have uh, kind of doubles of some stuff. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Pulled out some of the threads. This uh, snap on blue point extractor pulled out some of the threads, but it left half the bolt still in there. Interesting. Ooh, it's kind of warm. All right, let me pull the rest of it out. What's Okay, got the cord put back in. Got to feed these, fed the wires through and untangle them. Now I've got to re screw them to their terminal post. Let me show you a cool tool made by. So you can see that. Where are we here? Can you see that? Snap on. I've got two long ones, two short ones. The way these guys work, they're spring-loaded heads. I have two for Phillips heads and two for standard heads. 
and they've got these uh, cool little spring-loaded devices like this right that's where they normally sit you twist them and pull them back and then you take your screw in this case I'm this is the standard screw this is the brass screw for the power press it on there give it a push ain't going anywhere way better than magnetic and the uh, Phillips heads kind of do the same thing they come across, you put your Phillips in there, you snap it into place, and they spring hold on until you get done with it and you can pull them out. Pretty cool for reaching them tight little areas. You old school hot rodders, I remember points and condensers when you had to put them little bitty screws that hold the, that hold the condenser down to your distributor plate or the uh, points. That's what these guys work perfect for because you got to do this. And they're brass. In this case, magnetic wouldn't even work.